Hi, Andrew Little John Johnson, owner and founder of Little John Law, and I want to discuss today a question that I get from family, friends, random people. Hey, what about this? Should I hire an attorney? Well, when it comes to personal injury matters in South Carolina, the question is 100% up to that individual. But I think and I've found that four points I'll go over today can kind of determine whether you should hire an attorney. Um, the first one is, do you know the law? And I know that sounds like a loaded question and it's not meant to be. If somebody runs a stop sign and hits you and hurts you, you probably know that law. Don't run a stop sign. Um, but what I'm talking about is when you get into different areas of car wreck laws, DUI, medical malpractice, governmental entities, uh, school cases, nursing home abuse and neglect, those are the types of cases that um, you might want to think about calling an attorney on unless you can do the research on your own or already know the law. Um, the next point I would say is how's your claim going? And in this sense, it doesn't necessarily mean how's your communication with the adjuster, um, although that could be it. A lot of people get frustrated with insurance companies, but it also deals with, you know, is your treatment going okay? Are you comfortable with where you are in the treatment? Are you comfortable with your non-economic analysis so far? Have you kept track of everything? And for those of you who've watched my other videos, you'll know that those are important parts of increasing the value of the case and keeping it moving. If you feel like those aspects of your case aren't moving, whether it's because of you or some other factor, it might be time to call an attorney. Um, the next point I would say is, uh, have you done everything you can to increase the value of the case? And do you know everything that needs to be done to increase the value? And this can come in many forms and it is wholly dependent on the individual and the case. Uh, a lot of this comes from experience with attorneys. Um, I know in my experience, different cases have different factors that in, can increase or decrease the value and we look for each of those and we uncover cover the bruises, we uncover the sweet parts and everything and we try to determine and we work through it all um, if we have the full value and if not we keep digging. If you're not sure if you have the full value, you likely don't and it might be a good time to speak with an attorney and I think the last thing is what gets a lot of clients and it is I am tired of dealing with this. And it's not necessarily I give up, it's I don't want to be leading this charge anymore. And that's fine. Um, what we see is there's a burnout from calling the adjusters, there's a burnout from getting medical records, from following up with people, from scheduling appointments, to finding out if you owe any money to somebody, to finding out if you're missing a statute of limitations, not knowing what the next step is, and in a time where you've been hurt by somebody and your life has already been mixed around and you're still trying to get back to normal all while treating and in pain, dealing with an adjuster or trying to do these other things might not be too fun. It might not be the best thing for you. If you feel that way, feel free to reach out to me. Or if you have any questions about anything that I've gone over today or that you read on the blog, call me, email me. As you know, I'm here to help and I'm happy to speak with you.